Hi, this is Charles Meyer here for another episode of Distilled and today I'm going to be talking about the five elements of effective thinking. Applicable ways to create better thought for yourself. The reason I want to teach this book is because in schools throughout our whole life we're taught what to think but never how. So, the theme for this book is elemental truth and 4 equals 5, which will make sense at the very end. The elemental truth is that each of these four elements relates to how we can create better modes of thinking. So let's start with the first, Earth. Earth relates to understanding deeply so we can ground our thinking. The word understand comes from engineering projects. For somebody to see the mechanics of how the ship is being built or the car is being built, they had to stand under it to see what was going on. So that way they understood. I'm going to use geometric analogies to relate all of this. So what I'll do for Earth is use a square. The practical method here is that you want to choose a skill that you're desiring to improve. So you write out all the elements for that skill. Here's one element, here's another, and another, and the last. Now I say, okay, I'm pretty good at this element of the skill, but I'm not so good at this one. So you choose a particular element and improve upon it for 30 minutes or perhaps the entire day if you're really motivated. This relates to functional movement, things of that nature, the 10,000 hour rule if you've ever heard of it. Function movements are when people train specifically on key movements like push-ups, pistol squats, burpees, because those small skills translate into giant effects. As we talked about in the other book that I covered, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, it's something like a keystone habit, a habit that affects all others. Next is fire. Fire is all about igniting success through failure. The applicable skill here is using failure as a tool to succeed. So the sign I'll use here is a sine wave, right? This is me going along a certain path. What it says is that if you can't figure something out or if you're having some sort of block, intentionally fail so you can learn from that mistake and move forward. So say I'm here, I'm going up and then I'm down, I fail. Now I'll look at why I failed through the whole mess of it and say, okay, I understand this now I'll implement a solution to move forward. Here's the solution. So I'll do it again and make it high again, but I fail once more. Implement another solution and move forward again. You intentionally fail to find a solution and move forward. That's the practical method of fire, igniting success through mistake. Any wise teacher, guru, instructor will use mistakes as a great lesson. A quote I really love is that a ship in harbor is a safe ship, but that's not what ships are made for. Third elemental truth, we have air. Air is about creating questions out of thin air. Be your own Socrates. Have a philosophical mind. What I want to use here is a triangle. So if you understand something but you don't grasp it entirely, after you use earth and fire, you still become stuck, go with air. Create a truth, truth out of a question. By questioning something deeply, many times you arise some sort of aspect of it that wasn't seen before. So when you ask a question, it opens your minds up to create an answer. You can't get an answer without a question. But sometimes you find an answer unintentionally, like post-it notes. The adhesive was really poorly set up. And at first they thought it was a failure, but they said, okay, what can this be the right answer to? 
and Post-it notes became huge. Everybody uses them, but originally they were a failure. When you ask a question that opens up this door, you find the hidden element, which creates the last leg. Another applicable method besides just asking questions, which would be going somewhere with the intention of wanting to create one or two key questions, would be giving a speech. At the end of it, maybe a meeting conference, instead of asking, are there any questions, assume that there are, and tell all of the people there to pair up for 60 seconds and create two questions. That way, everybody is getting some part in this. You'll hear questions that you hadn't thought of before, and the people you're working with will create questions. Everybody moves forward. The last of the four, before we get to five, is water. Water is about seeing the flow of ideas, the progression of how you got to where you are. What I want to use here is a straight line, but I'll relate it to a parade. Say you're in this one spot on the parade, and you can't move forward because there's some sort of congestion or you're just confused. You don't know where to go. What water tells us is to look at the flow of ideas. See, okay, where did the idea start? And you progress forward until you get to the point where you're at now to gain a better understanding. You see the evolution of the idea. Then, moving forward, you guess where it might go. And by guessing, you force your mind to think in ways that it wouldn't have before. So you sense the flow of ideas and follow the evolution of it. From where it is, where it is now, and where it's going. A very good thought to remember is that every challenge you face is just a baby step in the evolution of it. And finally, we have the fifth element of truth. Four equals five because all four of these together, earth, fire, air, and water, create the fifth element, which is the quintessential element of change. The only constant in life is change. It is always progressing forward. Your entire life, you have changed. Your cells in your body die and recreate all the time. Everything around you is changing. What this tells us to do is that we must actually go out and do it. Apply these four methods and change our ways of thinking. Just knowing them doesn't create that change. We have to go out and do it. The four elements create the fifth, which is the quintessential element. A perfect representation, the circle. These are the five elements of change. I hope this information serves you well. Again, the five elements of effective thinking. Very short, quick book, tons of applicable methods. I only mentioned a few here. I highly recommend you get it for yourself. And share this information along, as always. Thank you.